Hey, founders, I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We are just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliga Hall? Yes, we could take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Can I drive? No. Let's get this over with. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of hers. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. The smug fucker. Okay. So what's... What she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Yeah, using that back there. Moonshine? Born's faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. All I'm thinking is how about I toy fitting my boot up your hook. No, just not the old bitch. <laughs> Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, oh, he was giving his usual flannel. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm all for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. But they're really barely some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to send the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. You just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry. Damn. Whoa, hold up a second. Are you not worried about them Gray's, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them Gray's? In what sense? Well, they knows you. Right. You know, 
what? Here. I'll go hide and back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> but here, stay out of sight. I'll do the talking. Hey, hold him right there. Hold. What you want, boy? I've... I've... There, there was a thing... A, a thing... At the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, I, I've come from Donegal, in, in Ireland. You don't say? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies, uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay, they said. Okay, Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink. Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> Uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Boy. Just over here. Yeah. Uh, straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these people coming in. Yeah, and they said oh, they was looking for more foul. drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been yeah, there to empty. kick a bit of honest walk out of bed. <laughs> I get me that out. So, you folks have been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, yeah Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Oh, a bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. Just in there. Things are. Right here, I'll show you how to get there. Oh, what the hell? 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 我已经累埋咗，而家。Quite a place you boys have got here. 你要边？你想知啊？睇啊。Out in Donegal, real fancy place as they was Hamish, real fancy because if some folks got all the money, they can build fanciest places imaginable, eh? Well, the average man sups on shit. 好狗啊！ How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellers here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think? Oh, yeah, okay. They should do it. Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, There'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. Hold tight, Lee. No, I don't. Burn quietly. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. Oh. 
拎住個桶咩嚟噶 ？This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? We'll take care of this fella. You douse the fields. I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. I'm gonna douse this too. I'm gonna douse this too.
Man, you must have something with a flame, right? Would you look at that? Yeah. Now let's burn those bloody fields to the ground. You ain't leaving here. What is he with these fellas? Check out the red head. Look at all the other. Need to get this going. Stop the horses from the stables. Come on. All right. Now we got company. Look out. This is bloody madness. This is a goddamn mess. Four men up ahead. You call that a party? That break weight had got our money's worth, Arlie. Let's just get out of here first. Easy. I think we lost them. That we did. Quite a night. Sure. Interesting little fight Dutchess put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Sure.
home sweet home. You let Jose know how we got on. Room here if you want, Arthur. Whoa, careful, Javier. Hello, Javier. Okay, Jose. How are you? You okay? What oh, dang? Pot you for? I'm good. You know, you know, I'm going to try to talk. Tosinawa. Could we Yawa Yawa delay Gama? Lấy mẫu đó Ôi dấu đó Thả không Cái thông qua kiểu kìa Maka Blessed are the peacemakers For they shall be called Hey Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well uh, That's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence No doubt well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the O'Driscoll boys on the road in the town. Things were about to get ugly, but you know how I am in a fight, huh? Like a corner tiger. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things like gentlemen. Gentlemen, yeah. Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch. Do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap. But what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. We ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot a lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. You gotta take. 
I killed Combs' brother. A long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Hmm. As you say, it's a long time ago. Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. We all hate you, Arthur. Mount up then, Morgan. You move away, Mr. Jagger. Did you get it? Yep. Go there. You know. I've been fighting Combs for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. And you're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, maybe you're right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had it. Pinkerton's coming after us because of Blackwater and Leviticus Cornwall and his private army Then it, who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head hmm? And we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts and O'Driscoll There is wisdom in that uh, I hope so gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous Look you ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that rifle, Wanna don't keep. you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den with you to cover us. Hmm? Okay, just keep calm. Unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you, idiot, with you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. As would I. Okay. Hey, up there, men on the ridge. Oh, Driscoll's from the look of them. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. Ugh. Maybe he's right, Dutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us into situations that could have been safer. I just... I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I... I dream too big, caring too much. That's my problem. Caring too much? There's no such thing. This is horse shit from both of you. It might be. From what you yeah. Might be full of shit. Como O'Driscoll might be full of shit. The promise of this great nation, men created equal. But it's worth trying for. It is worth believing in. Can't you see that, friend? Oh. I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. All right, cowpoke. You're going to peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plain. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. 
We'll be there, partner. Hello, Dutch. It's been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Mm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, is it? Charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. Whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always loved the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? Sense. Handing them over to the lords. I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. With this fella Colum right, we can draw them all back. True. Where'd Colum and Pat? He's escaping! Shoot him! Relax! Relax! I got him! Oh, I got him. <laughs> Did I kill you? No, not yet. <laughs> no, of course not. Not yet. But I will. <laughs> Finally! Put his weapons over there! I 
Arthur Morgan. It's good to see you. Uh, hello, Goon. <coughs> How's Woo? I hardly feel it. You will. <coughs> Septic. Say nice. Now, tell me. Fine gun like you. Uh, why are you still running around with old Dutch? Could come ride with me and make real money. It ain't about the money, Cole. No, no. Uh, it's Dutch's famous car. Uh, uh, you killed a whole bunch of my boys. Six point cat. I ain't got no clue what you're talking about. Oh, you lie, my friend. And I thought Dutch preached truth. Let me go, Cole. And end all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it, they get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sort. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. Let's see. Hey, Ty, you you know an angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of you and hang you. Then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? Of course. You'll be so mad. Things <laughs> are. Raging over here. A whole lot of you. And law waiting for him. Arthur. Arthur. I missed you. <coughs> 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 Ah,啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！
Kaivo.
My dear boy, what? They got me. Okay. I got away. Oh, yeah. yeah, you did. Miss Grimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson. He's gonna set the law on us. Oh, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. You are safe now, Arthur. You're safe now. Uh, that's pretty. That's, that's real pretty. Oh, Miss Grimshaw, oh, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. You're home. You're home. I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. Good. How are you feeling? Oh, about the same as you. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, take care of yourself. You too. Miss Grimshaw? Ah, you're looking much better. I was worried. Yeah, I'm fine. Here's those herbs you asked for. Ah, uh, excellent, thank you. I'll slip these in Pearson's pot when he's not looking. Very sassy. He's the worst kind of fraud, Mr. Dutch. He's a rich dreamer playing at being one of us. This kid is too smart, Arthur. How do you mean? He's on vacation with the lower classes. The outlaws, those unprotected by wealth. You are too hard on him. He he writes with incredible beauty. Yes. He's very ornamental, as my uncle would say. And your uncle? What was he? He was a slave. Most educated man in his county. But a slave. Miller writes about men like him. Ah, Miller's a slave to a slave to pretty words and empty phrases, but he don't understand. You are too harsh a critic. <sighs> Look, <clears throat> you're a great man, Mr. Dutch. But you ain't great because of Evelyn Miller. 
<laughs> Keep quiet, Morgan. He'll eat you alive. It ain't difficult. <laughs> What's wrong now? I seen you looking at her, Dutch. Who? You know who. Getting too old for you, am I? That's how it usually works with you, isn't it? You're delusional. Again. Won't even look me in the eye, but you look at her all day. Doesn't matter what I say, you'll believe whatever fantasy you're currently living in. Fantasy? You think this is a fantasy for me? I do not have the energy for this right now. Oh, it's written all over you. I'm not stupid, I've been watching. Oh, that much is painfully clear. You're playing a dangerous game. Will you be quiet? I am trying to read here. Pig! You were coming for me, right, Dutch? Of course, son. Good to see you back up in Adam again. A few more battle scars. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Oh, hi, Dutch. Whatever you say, my lady. Good morning. You okay? Hey, Fenton! <laughs> oh, never again. All right, well, I should be getting on. Thanks. My dad used to say, the bigger the box, the smaller the gift, if you know what I mean. Your dad? Yeah, my dad. From the sound of things, I'm he was one. quite something. Yeah, quite something. My father, he always said to me, someone did Hey, fellas. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, hey, oh, Mike. Oh, You're alive. Good. Now, that was some business, all right. We are never falling for something that dumb again. How are you? Hey, Lenny. How's it going? Good. Much better. Morning, Arthur. <coughs> oh, this boy. Why, why? Why? Let me hold a team view. Hi. 